Hello, and in today's 5 Minute Friday, we're going to discuss a feature called Restriction Zones. Restriction Zones enable you to map out an area that you don't want the drone to fly into during an automated flight. That could be because of a tall building, a tree, or as we're about to explore in this example, we're going to try and avoid this radio tower that's above the town hall here. So how do we do that? Let's assume that we're mapping the town hall here and we're doing a fairly low level map. I've got it set at 100 feet. If you look carefully, you'll see this shadow here shows that there is a radio tower in this location here, and that's what we want to avoid. So I'm going to add a restriction zone above this tower. So the way to do that is right click on the map and drop down and select restriction zone. Once you do that, by default, it's going to put a circle above the area that you just mapped. And you can adjust this circle by just clicking and dragging. So I'm going to make it fairly small. I don't want it to be too big. But you can also adjust the height of this restriction. So for example, I'm going to set the restriction zone here to be 125 feet. So that means up to 125 feet, avoid this zone. But if I'm doing something, and I'll show this later on, if I'm doing something where I'm mapping and I go above 125 feet, it'll just fly above it. You don't have to have restrictions that are circles. You can right click and say add a restriction zone. And there's a drop down here. So you can say polygon and change the shape to be whatever you need it to be. But for this case, we're going to use a circle. Once you add the restriction zone, you'll see that the flight pattern changes. You can see this now comes along here and it actually just goes around the outside of the circle. Here it just skims by it. So that's what's going to happen when it's flying this mission. It's going to start here. It's going to come up, come over here, and then it's going to fly around this circle and then down. The exact pattern, I don't know how it calculates it, but I'm sure it's got some kind of automated means of doing that. I've seen some pretty interesting ones where it comes back and does the last leg and so on. But um, generally speaking, it works as you would expect. As I mentioned before, if we change the map height to say 200 feet, you'll see that it recalculates and now it will fly directly over it because it knows that this restriction is only at 100, up to 125 feet. Let's put this back and I'll show you what it looks like when you do a mission preview. So here we are, we've run a mission preview. And one of the things that I really like is in the window over here, you can actually see you can see the flight path, which you could normally see before, but you can see exactly where this restriction zone is. So you can see that this is the restriction zone doesn't go much above where the map is, but it's very easy to see where it is and what's going to be avoided. And if we're looking straight down, you can see how it's going to fly around the outside of that. Before we sign off, I do want to give one warning, which is that the DJI return to home function will not respect the restriction zone. So if the restriction zone is between you and when the drone starts the return to home function, there's a fairly good likelihood it's going to hit whatever you're trying to avoid. So there's a few ways to avoid that. The most obvious is change your return to home altitude to be high enough that it would go over any restriction zones that you have in place. Another alternative would be to place a checkpoint or something similar close to the start point and in a place where it's going to avoid the obstruction. So there's a few different things you can do, but just, just be aware of that. Um, the return to home function will not respect the restriction zone. And that's pretty much it. It's actually quite an easy feature to use and one that I know a lot of people are not aware of. Um, as you can see here, there's this hotel that I've used in other examples. Quite a complex shape, but the restriction zone sorts itself out, does whatever it needs to do to go around it. So that's it for another 5 Minute Friday. As always, I love to hear your comments. So if you've got any comments or questions on this or any other video that I've posted, please feel free to share and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Bye bye.